Next to me is the 812 Competizione, the hardcore track focused version of the 812 Superfast. With the most powerful Ferrari V12 of all time, sinister looks, this is one of the greatest looking modern Ferraris of all time. But is it better to drive than the legendary F12 TDF? Well, today we're gonna find out exactly that. Under the hood of the 812 Comp is a six and a half liter naturally aspirated V12 that makes 819 horsepower and 514 pound feet of torque. And the engine bay is absolutely glorious with all of this carbon fiber. These engines are just a masterpiece. Zero to 60 Ferrari claims happens in 2.8 seconds, although it's probably a bit faster than that, with a top speed of 211 miles an hour. Now let's move on to the F12 TDF, the predecessor to the 812 Comp. This has a 6.3 liter naturally aspirated V12, making 769 horsepower and a bit more torque at 520 pound feet. Zero to 60 is the same in 2.8 seconds with an identical top speed of 211. Both the cars have rear axle steering, but the 812 Comp takes things to a whole nother level. Normal rear axle steering cars can turn the rear wheels in a slight different direction as the fronts. You can also turn it in the same direction for heightened stability. Well, in the 812 Comp, the two rear wheels can turn opposite directions from each other, meaning the front wheels can be both turning left and then one right wheel is turning to the right, and then the left wheel is turning back to the left, which means you can have crazy cornering abilities, and on the road, it works unbelievably well. Design-wise, both the cars look absolutely insane, and it's very hard to pick a favorite. I'm gonna say the front of the F12 TDF is a little more attractive, whereas the 812 Competition is a little more aggressive. I love these massive vents for additional cooling, and one of my favorite parts about the 812 Comp is this massive carbon fiber blade across the hood. It allows hot air to escape from the engine to cool that engine bay. We've also got some really cool aerodynamic tricks on this car as well, and the front end is super savage. Down here, we've got cuts in the side of the car to allow turbulent airflow to exit the wheel well to aid in downforce. We've got a similar thing with this side blade increasing downforce right here on the side of the TDF. Now the back of the cars is where things get really interesting. The rear end of the 812 Comp might be my favorite of any car ever. It's absolutely insane. Instead of having a window, they put this aluminum panel on the back and have these carbon fiber vortex generators to increase downforce without having a massive rear wing. And it just looks so cool. Because you can't see out of the back, they've attached this little camera right here, which is attached to a virtual rear view mirror that's just a live feed of the rear camera when you're driving along the road. It's a little bit tricky to get used to, but I think it's totally worth it for this design language. The F12 TDF is absolutely gorgeous, menacing rear diffuser, quad exhaust. This thing actually sounds a bit better stock than the 812, but there's no denying that this rear end is more aggressive. Coming around to the rear diffuser, absolutely massive. They push the exhaust out to the very outskirts of that diffuser to make it even bigger. Such a cool design with these rectangles. And I also love the slits here to allow turbulent air to exit out. You can also see into those massive meaty tires. The interior of the 812 Comp is incredible. These Alcantara carbon bucket seats look fantastic. The light blue with the yellow accents, this interior is perfect in my eyes. It's also got some tailor-made options like this Kevlar all throughout the interior that's super lightweight and super, super strong. I love the 812 Competizione badge right there, passenger display, the rounded circular vents, just like an 812 Superfast. Now, unlike the Superfast, we don't have that floating bridge and the plasticky controls. It's replaced by this metallic unit, which I think looks a lot better. We actually have a massive cup holder here, which is kind of interesting. Some storage space back here as well. The seats hold you in place so well. Carbon fiber doors. That mirror takes a little bit of getting used to, but not a big deal. The paddles feel amazing in your hand. Of course, like all Ferraris, we got the Manatino dial on the wheel, the start stop button, and the shift indicator light on the wheel itself. Man, the roads out here in New Jersey are actually fantastic. I'm surprised. Incredible windy roads. Oh my God. This is something else. The 812 Competizione is unbelievable. Oh, that turn in is so brilliant. The suspension has no body roll for a really big car. And the way it manages all that weight in the front is truly spectacular. 
And I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. As somebody who owned an 812 super fast and absolutely loved that car, when they released the 812 Competizione, I immediately fell in love. From the design language improvements to just knowing how good Ferrari special edition cars drive, I couldn't imagine what it would be like and now I'm finally getting to experience it. That extra 500 RPMs, getting to rev up to 9,500 is absolutely ridiculous. And the transmission tuning is so razor sharp, I don't think I've ever felt a Ferrari gearbox this crisp and this punchy with the seven speed dual clutch. Instantly, you notice that rear wheel steering. So as I mentioned before, not only can the rear wheels turn in a different direction of the fronts, the rear wheels can turn independently from one another. So one wheel in the right can turn a little bit to the left, and then the wheel on the left can turn a little bit to the right, upwards of 1.5 degrees difference from each other. And it is just a crazy thing to experience as the car just rips itself around the corner. Following behind the F12 TDF now, which we'll be driving in a little bit. Very excited to drive that car as well. I've heard it's one of the best driving Ferraris of all time. You know, the A12 Superfast as a GT car with a big engine in the front and kind of softer suspension and smoother steering was a little bit too refined. It's perfect for a long distance cruiser and rally car, but not as exciting as it could be. With the Competizione, the suspension is stiffer. You feel more bumps. These seats are absolutely stunning, but super supportive as well. And the steering just feels like it has a lot more communication. All right, we've got some open road. Let's go ahead and push this thing right behind that F12 TDF. Oh my God. <laughs> We're in race mode right now. That traction control does a fantastic job of making sure that 819 horsepower goes to the ground and not uh, into a tree. This thing is such a blast. Wow. I mean, that just sounds so nuts. And I think I've been short shifting. You get to 9,000 RPMs or even 8,500 and you think it's time to shift, but it goes all the way up to 9,500. Now, driving with no rear view mirror is very interesting. We do have like a rear view mirror of sorts right here. It's shaped like a rear view mirror and it's got a camera on it, but it can't be activated to be a normal rear view. If you flip this switch, which normally in cars switches between a camera and a conventional mirror, if you flip this down, it it does nothing. I can see the seat right here. There's literally nothing behind us whatsoever. Now, I really do like this interior. I think the mix of materials is incredible. These Alcantara seats, this thing was specced so darn well. Carbon fiber everywhere. And then this kind of Kevlar material all throughout the interior, which I imagine is really, really tough and is gonna resist scratching and anything like that. I also really like the improvement with the drive controls here. I miss the floating bridge a little bit but it looks a lot better than those plasticky things. We've of course got the passenger display over there, letting the passenger know that you're probably going way too fast, freaking them out. Also shows you the red line, you can control the music, the navigation, etc., which I love. It's also got a massive cup holder up here, which is kind of funny in a pseudo race car of sorts. The steering wheel feels so nice in your hands. Just the steering in general in this car is truly brilliant. With the electronic power assisted steering, it doesn't have an insane amount of feedback, but it is insanely direct. And the second you turn the wheel just in the slightest amount, all of a sudden the car bends around the corner and then those rear wheels are turning in different directions, making sure you make it around as quickly as possible. The A12 Competizione is one and a half seconds around Fiorano faster than the standard 812. Interestingly, it's only 84 pounds lighter. That's really not that light, considering the 812 was a heavy car to begin with. But man, the driving experience is truly unreal. And seeing out over the hood, seeing that slit in the hood for that extra cooling allows the hot air off of the engine to run backwards and exit that engine bay and dissipate. It also allows turbulent airflow in the wheel wells to dissipate as well. And then we have all the crazy carbon fiber spoilers in the back on the rear trunk area that add to additional downforce. This thing is truly something else. All right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Give us a full throttle pull in first. Oh my God. That is just 
Oh. <laughs> I gotta give a special thanks to the RM Collection for making this video possible. Seriously, follow him on Instagram. This experience has been unbelievable. His collection's awesome, he's a really good guy, and, and it's worth the five seconds to click that follow button. And more follows means, well, more chances of me reviewing these awesome cars because being out here following an F12 CDF is truly an insane experience. So we're gonna hop in the F12 now and see what that thing is like to drive. But, but first, looks like the road's clearing up. Oh my God, this thing is scary. <laughs> It is so stable at high speeds too. And the throttle response is gnarly instant. Wow. Man, this thing does inspire a lot more confidence than you'd expect an 819 horsepower rear wheel drive Ferrari that's meant for the track to have. really feel those rear wheels turning. That is such a cool sensation. They've perfected the rear axle steering. My God. <laughs> this thing is unbelievable. 